Hey guys, today we gonna talk about India's technological progress history. India has seen a lot of progress in recent years in the IT sector. But do you know its history? Today we are celebrating India's 75th Independence Day. Happy Independence Day to all of you. Let's get started. India got its first electronics and telecommunication department in 1947 itself in Government Engineering College, Jubalpur and four years later in 1951, the first TV transmitter was also installed there. On August 18, 1951, the then Minister of Education Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad, inaugurated the Indian Institute of Technology at Karagpur in West Bengal. In 1953, 12-channel carrier system was introduced. In 1960, the first subscriber trunk dialing or STD route was commissioned between Lucknow and Kanpur. In 1975, the first pulse code modulation or PCM system was commissioned between Mumbai City and Anheri telephone exchanges. In 1979, the first optical fiber system for a local junction was commissioned at Pune. In 1980, the first satellite earth station for domestic communications was established in Uttar Pradesh. In 1995, the first mobile telephone service started on a non-commercial basis on August 15, 1995 in Delhi and internet was introduced for the first time in India Delhi on the same day. In 1999, India became a nuclear state after it conducted nuclear weapons tests. The Mars Orbiter mission was launched on November 5, 2013 by the Indian Space Research Organization. It was historical because India became the first country in the world to ever reach the Mars in first attempt. India also recognized the right to privacy as a fundamental right on August 24, 2017 when then Chief Justice of India along with nine other judges unanimously ruled that privacy is a fundamental right and the state cannot invade it without any specific reason. India is the world's biggest democracy and with this ruling, it has joined the United States, Canada, South Africa, the European Union, and the UK in recognizing this fundamental right. Finally, I would like to add that India hopefully get its own quantum computer soon. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.